Well, all right. Hello. Welcome back. Wow, look at my hair. It's uh, <laughs> a little little fuzzy here. Let me see if I can fix it. All right. Well, welcome back. Hello. To the Midwest Sports Show. My name is uh, Chris Thats, and then uh, that's that's Gene Steichen. Gene. Yes. Hello. How are you? Good. It looks like we're in a high school field, so I'm going to say we're in Canton, Ohio. I I woke up so early this morning, got in a plane, I couldn't really tell. Because I saw football. Oh, no, we're in Philly. Gene, you were... Oh, uh, that's Rocky. Remember, you were kidnapped. You were thrown into a van. Right. I was in a van very early this morning. And you had a uh, one of those hoods? Yes. Those yeah. Guantanamo hoods put right, on you? Right, Yeah. And uh, we right. have awoken... Oh. Uh, in the great city of uh, Philadelphia. Yeah, I just saw the Rocky statue. Did they move it off the court? Wasn't it at the courthouse on the top stairs? Uh, you... Gene, let me let me just say something. That that's like the same area. I've, I've never been to Philly, but Gene. That that's like the same area as the Liberty Bell, right? Or something at Ben yeah. Franklin's like house mm-hmm. or whatever, right? And a statue of Sylvester Stallone. Pretty great. He's he's what this country was built for. I mean, those are you think America? Yes, I do. Sylvester Stallone. It's not even Rocky Balboa. Yeah. It's not even the real Rocky, right? It's Sylvester Stallone, right? No, I think it's Rocky. The, isn't he got his trunks on? Oh, okay. But it, it looks like Sy- Sy- Sylvester Stallone does not look like the real Rocky Balboa, right? Or it. Oh, it is. No, it's from the movie. There was no Rocky Balboa. <laughs> yeah, it, Rocky was a real person, right? Isn't it based, he, like, he off, was based uh, on a? It, it was a fictional character based on a real person, right? I think. Oh yeah, and his name's not Rocky Balboa. No, but, it was, but he, uh, he was some guy that uh, kind of went up a similar situation. I think ESPN did thirty for thirty on him. But, so it doesn't even look like that guy, right? No. Okay. I mean, he he could have been Italian. Wasn't Rocky so Italian? So let's. Uh, I don't know much about the Italian. By the way, uh, what has Rocky really done for the city of Philadelphia? Do people are like, hey, I got to go to Philly. Well, I got to go to Philly. Uh it's just I got I got to see those steps. I mean, everyone goes to, to see the steps, right? right? right. But I don't everyone think anyone. I don't think anyone goes to Philly hmm. because of Rocky, right? So why I, why I, are we putting? I beg to differ there, uh, sir. People go to Iowa to see Field of Dreams. Well, Gene, is there a statue of uh, Kevin Costner? <laughs> no. In the uh, a weeb uh, a weeb not tribe memorial. <laughs> Who? I don't know what what's like a famous like uh, landmark. I don't know the capital, the Quad City. De- Des Moines. <laughs> no, Quad Cities is Rock Island, Moline, Bettendorf, Davenport. Right. There I mean, I'm sure there's like a square that like designates the middle of all four cities, right, or something like that. Yeah. Well, that would be the Mississippi River. That yeah. designated the middle. Hey, how, how about we put a big statue of Kevin Costner? Yeah, he should. He's done a lot for Iowa. Any, any, <laughs> That's and, what I'm saying. Has, has any of these people done anything for any of these mm-hmm. cities? And Field of Dreams, I believe this week is back in theaters for one day I, for their 30th anniversary. Oh, yeah? Yes. That movie's nice. aged perfect. Well, I watched it again. I watched it like uh, within the last year, and it was so good. And... uh yeah. Well, speaking, good, of, good speaking of movies uh, coming back, is uh, Saving Private Ryan's actually going to be uh, yes, re-released for like for twenty years? The theater. I think I'm going to go see that because uh, I saw that in the theater back oh in the day. Oh my gosh! Probably one of the most amazing movie moments of my life. But, yeah, uh, that opening Omaha Beach. Uh, wow. Pretty uh, pretty it, graphic. Yeah, I would think I I put it in my calendar too. You're right. You're right. You should see it. That's a movie. You should like, see yeah, I wonder there. if that's gonna be at the ArcLight. So uh, we'll see. It it does usually those re-releases. It's gonna be at the Chinese Theater and it'll be at the AMC. Do you think Do you think Stephen will be there, Mr. Spielberg? Mm, maybe he'll he's my... getting ready. He's doing West Side Story. I went. To... I should bring a script in case he's there. He, do you think he's qualified to do a musical? Because that's what he's doing. <laughs> is that he, is he ever done a musical before? I besides don't think so. third, Encounters of the Third Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Oh, it's kind of a musical, right? Right. Or yeah. uh, the Color Purple musical uh, it, without music, but it was dramatic. Yeah. And All right. I saw Late Miz last night, so I saw a musical last night. Oh yeah, really good. You know the uh, PBS has a uh, Les Mis uh, series. Yeah. Uh, maybe check it out. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. Well, Gene, uh, we're yes. not we're not here to talk about Inside Hollywood. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, in case you were wondering, uh, yeah. Gene, we're we're no. Uh, listen, Gene. Yes. The good people of the Quad Cities. I don't know anybody. Well, my sister went to college in Davenport, which is a Quad City, but then her school went out of business. So 
I, I'm no. sure I know. Th- well, gee, I'll tell you what. None of those people, they, they don't know what the Egyptian is. Oh, oh or, yeah. Or, the, or, or, or the arc light. The, arc light? Yes. Arc light, the Cinerama uh, You know, Gene, when I first, you know how you like hear words, but then you don't really know what they right, are? Because right. like arc light? Yeah. I thought people were kept on saying Claymore. I, I was like, Claymore? Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the Claymore. Yeah. Arc, it's arc light. Like, who? Okay. Yeah. Pretty great. Gene, they, they, these, the good people of the Quad Cities, they, they, they don't care about, uh, Gauman's Theater. <laughs> Grauman's? Grauman's. Is that what it's called? Grauman. Grauman's? Grauman's. Um. Yeah, or Grauman. the or the five Superman outside right. trying to get uh, people's money for the photographs. Yeah, you know what they care about? What Midwest sports? Oh, there they go, and they, they, thus they came to the right place. You guys push you play stumbled, on the right video. You stumbled onto the right place. Yep. Okay, you're on the right page. Um, well, and and it's great because now that you have the Bucks doing so well, it's it makes sense for them. Well, we can talk about all sports uh, here on the show, okay. including hoops, which I love. I do. So you've been watching the box. <laughs> I almost I didn't watch it last watch night because I went to Lay Miz. I've seen parts of one, or I'm not sure. I saw him play <laughs> in the. Po- I'm following them. They all kind of mixed together. When yeah, you, uh, I'm, don't following I'm following them. I'm following. Well, them. I watched the one on Friday because I was uh, with a fellow, oh, that fellow Milwaukee uh, Waukeean friend. Oh, okay. And we watched the game while we watched uh, the Brewers get annihilated by the uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the oh, Phillies. The Bra- oh, the Phillies. no, that was the Phillies. Mm. Yep. Uh, oh no, the Braves. Yeah, you were correct, yeah. Brett. But um, yeah, uh, did not watch the other two. I did uh, l- listen to some people talk about last night's double overtime game, yeah, uh, the Sunday game, right? Uh, which they lost. So we'll uh, be sure to talk about that. What I've heard, <laughs> right. what you've heard. Uh, but Gene, you know, we were talking about my hair earlier, and we're talking about uh, being in Philly. We're in Philly earlier. Great I would to be back. I would be Great to be back. Philly. I would be. And the Cubs are playing Philadelphia. I need to. I would be. I need to make sure that we do mention. If you do want to listen to the show, you can w- listen to it on iTunes. Oh. And if you're listening, you can watch the show mm. on Facebook. Mm. Just look up Gene Hello. or the Midwest Sports Show. I'm and uh, Or you can go to YouTube and look there up the Midwest go. Sports Show and so uh, many you can watch it there. So many. Yeah, why not? Or you can go to Philadelphia and just visit the Rocky statue. Yeah, or, or you could be live here right next to the studio. Yeah. Be with us. Yeah. But we won't be there next week. So. I think my mom watches it on Facebook. I don't think she understands YouTube. Oh, my mom saw The Temptations. I got her tickets. Great. She loved it. I think there's only – they have I, at least they have a, perhaps one original member. Yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, what, the manager? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The band manager? The Temptations, and she saw The Temptations and The Four Tops. Pretty great. I would have went to that one. What's the median age of the, <laughs> uh, that group, Jim? Got, well, my mom's 83, so I would say she was probably uh, right there. Right Man, that's a, talk about, uh, you, you know, Gene, I'm a bit of a marketing wizard. Yeah. That'd be a great spot to sell uh, life mortgages or life uh, insurance right, policies, right. you know? Yeah. So, uh, you know, these Temptations guys, just get your license uh, two for one. Yeah. You know, sign all those ladies up. These old guys, but they're still, a lot of them are still touring, so good for them. Anyway. Hopefully they'll um, be Giannis. In 50 years, they'll be co- all coming back to Milwaukee to celebrate their their NBA title. Yep, there you go. That, that's, that's a nice that's a nice segment. <laughs> although you blew your wad pretty quick there. All right, well, Gene, let's just talk hoops really quick. Yeah. I know uh, that's what everyone's been waiting for. Uh, Toronto against Milwaukee. Mm. Uh, the Toronto Raptors, Gene. I don't think we talked about this before, but Drake uh, is their number one fan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, until the, he gets. Well, by the way, was he at last night's game? I'm, I don't think he was. Oh, is it Toronto? He? So, oh no, wait. Yeah, who knows? Oh, he might have been. Uh, I don't know. He was at Lay Miz. He was yeah, with you. I didn't see him at Lay Miz. But uh, by the way, Gene, the Raptors. Yes. Gene, uh, remember when these guys? Well, well, Gene, first of all, the logo, the logo, is a ball. With 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 the oh, Raptor with talent the, marks, right, tear right. marks. You, I knew that. I yeah. knew that. That's been that way for but a long that, time. That's a slight improvement from the old logo, which was a cartoon dinosaur. Oh right. Doing running drills with a basketball or something, Gene. Yeah, that was, <laughs> you didn't improve. Well, Gene. Yes. It, you you ever seen any dinosaurs playing basketball? I I have not. Maybe in Space Jam too. If LeBron can play, find anyone to you know, play with them. Gene, I've only seen a couple of those Jurassic Park movies, but uh, as far as I'm aware, no basketball. Oh. Mm. 
So yeah. uh, you, the good people of Toronto. I mean, the, the, just say it's just, this is your team. Mm-hmm. This is who you're rooting for. This is a joke. Right. It's a travesty. Travesty. All right. Uh, can I just say this, Gene? Uh, game one. Yes. Actually, I think I did kind of watch this. I put oh, it on the old. Oh, was game two uh, the one that was close? Uh, no, um, the game two was a uh, kind of a blowout. Oh, okay. Game uh, one. Was but Gene, close. can I just say? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you got there? The, again, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, beat the drum here until we're all beat deaf. It. Beat the fear the deer. <laughs> but the 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 product the 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 basketball that the NBA is presenting to us, uh, not it's not good, Gene. Oh, these why, guys, why do you say Cause so? Because these guys, I mean, I understand the game, you know, is tough right. and a lot of pressure and all that stuff, but these guys can't even make a bi- basket. Mm. They can't even make the ball go through the hoop. That's kind of important. I mean, game one, we're just bad shots. I mean, guys are just dribbling down right. the, the court and taking a shot with 18 seconds left in the shot clock. Right. That's not good fundamentals. Uh, You know, and then if it's not that, then it's just that everyone isolates. Everyone lets the, the guy with the ball isolate. Mm. And it's just a stupid one on one, you know, who who can like make the other guy like, you know, you know, go the wrong way and then take your shot and is he gonna make it? Oh, nope. So it's back to the other side. Right. It's just you know, it's not a good game, Jim. Wasn't when I played I played in seventh grade and uh yeah, not the same fundamentals. Did you we're, like the, these guys know you can pass, right? Like it's unlimited I passes. Been, uh, informed. This guessing. isn't like it's not, Gene, this isn't football where you can only do a forward Wait, Giannis, pass. I mean, Giannis can pass. He can do everything. Have you seen him? Yeah, he's pretty good. He's fantastic. He's pretty good. But I'll tell you what, when it, when it, I'll tell you what, basketball does have cool moments like when you dunk mm. and those fast breaks. I mean, those are cool, but those, I mean, just everything around it, uh, so bad. And, Gene, these are like the two best teams in the East. They are. They Wait, for sure. Can you, no imagine, can you imagine with the worst two teams playing? Uh, that would Looks be. like. That maybe Tre- Cleveland and Phoenix, like, probably like Phoenix. an abortion. Wait a second. Probably mm-hmm. they probably banned those games in Georgia. I don't think I don't. <laughs> I I I think that's that. Those are references. It's a sensitive subject right now. So no no, you can't make those comparisons. Well, all right, Jane. Right. Uh, Our country's going through a tricky time. <laughs> all right. Uh. So yeah, then game two. Uh, they pretty much whooped up on the Raptors. And then, uh, yeah, game three, which is Sunday night, last night from us, uh, two overtimes, Gene. Yep, and I missed both of them. Yep, I'm, I'm, yeah, I missed both of them, too. I, who cares, man? Well, it's just stupid I, basketball. I, I, no, it would be so great for Milwaukee, the city, <laughs> the Midwest. I, I ain't there. The people of Wisconsin. Don't li- you don't live there. I don't oh, live there. Oh, I'll be there. I'm telling you, the people of Wisconsin – they deserve it. That's they don't a care great about state. basketball. The only reason why people would care is because the Bucks are doing good. Fair the they're, dare. They're a football football state first and foremost. I the bet next Aaron baseball. Rodgers would beg to differ. <laughs> he's not even from. He's not even I from know, Wisconsin. But he's a great fan. He's very supportive. And, and listen, I do I do appreciate a Rod showing his support, but yeah. on another fundamental level, Gene, you have to ask yourself what kind of what kind of person is this going to like. You know, he was probably a Golden State fan, maybe a Lakers fan back when he was a kid, right, from California. A person named Al. And then that kind of person. And then you're just going to uh, start rooting for the Bucks. I, yeah. Gene, I don't matter. I'm a Bucks fan. Gene, so if, I, if I was a professional athlete in New York, yeah, I would not become a Yankee fan. Mm. I would go to the Yankees games that are playing the Brewers. Oh, I would right, probably right, wear right. The, uh, the, the ball and glove. That That's what happens. Oh, Jim Harbaugh was at a Yankees game. What was he wearing? He had he had his Michigan stuff on, and he had a baseball glove. But he he was employed. <laughs> Did he catch any? Was no. He, was he directly behind the he catcher? In, You're not going to catch York. a lot of balls. He was in New York. Yeah, it's kind of pathetic. Uh, how how bad were his seats? Where he had I, he brought his know. glove? Where he thought he, was he always be. brings his glove. He's here to play. Yeah, yeah. No days off. Right. Oh, that's Belichick. And then, uh, Gene, there's other uh, news on mm. the uh, NBA. That seems like a lot, but if there's more, again, um, the uh, the the draft, not the draft, but the uh, the draft order, the draft oh, lottery. I guess you call it. That was so disappointing. It was on so many levels. So audio many is levels. terrible. He says, "Why is it too loud?" Or what? Oh, that sounds okay to me, but maybe it's just Facebook. Maybe it's yours. All right, so we're oh, gonna... sorry. Uh... Yeah, oh, that sounds like it. Yeah, probably is. Okay, and uh, all right. So uh, what we're talking about? Yeah. Oh, about the, draft the draft lottery. Right, right. 
The draft lottery. Any any just big things? Yeah, stand the up. The Bulls fell to seven, and then the <laughs> Knicks fell to fourth. All the all the crappy teams fell. Nobody, everybody fell. Cleveland, Phoenix, the Knicks, and then the Bulls. Super disappointing. And then what is that? Memphis and New Orleans? Who cares? Of, okay, that's a, who cares yeah, about. Maybe Memphis will finally turn it around, right, after uh, 30 years of fertility. They get the number two pick and the Lakers get the fourth. That's wrong. And New Orleans, no, that's not. A, that, hey, Memphis, um, Memphis, uh, Mark Assault is not walking through that door. <laughs> How long have you, right. can you use that reference? And, I think he is still if, in the NBA. And if somewhere. he is, he's going right. to be old and great. Right, right. Although he's still <laughs> That's the somewhere. Funniest thing. Can you imagine telling that to your fan? Brett Favre is not walking through that door. Yeah. I suck as a coach. Mm. All right, maybe we'll turn it down a little bit. Maybe it is a little bit too loud. All right. Um, all right, so, yeah, the New Orleans Pelicans win the NBA draft lottery. We get a chance to pick Zion Williamson mm. first. In the most anticipated draft since the rise of LeBron James. That's why it's so disappointing. It would have been great if he would have went to Chicago or the Knicks. Forget Phoenix and Cleveland. No. But, man, New Orleans? Oof. The most anti- oh, the most anticipated draft since LeBron James? Mm, yeah. That's, is is, is yeah. that even true? I, can, can, you name, can you name two players in the draft yeah. besides, besides Zion? Right, right. Uh, wait, too many? Too two, many? two players. Two? Oh, oh, I did. I can't. Zion and then someone else. John Morant and R.J. Barrett. Those are okay. the top three. Okay. Those guys are supposed to be good, but then after that, you're hard pressed to name anybody. But yeah, exactly. So remember, and R.J. Barrett, he was disappointing this year. Remember LeBron? I mean, you had LeBron, you had Carmelo, you had Dwayne Wade, you yeah. had Darko. Darko was on there, right? He, I, I think he was the number one overall pick. Yeah. No, because Bron- Darko LeBron Milichek? was. Are you are you talking about Dirk Nowitzki? No, uh, yeah, Darko Melich, yeah, or whatever. From yeah. The pit, yeah, but they didn't pick him over LeBron, right? No, that was a different. Was that a different? that was a different draft? He was in the. He might have been in the Dwayne Way or Carmelo. Yeah, it was LeBron sure. Carmelo? Yeah, Darko almost have been second because they took him instead of Carmelo. But we, yeah, he was okay. Terrible. All yeah. right, Gene, we uh, we're sports experts. <laughs> we're big hoops fans. <laughs> We, we're like Bill Simmons, but the reverse, right? <laughs> well, I was just disappointed. My point is, it would have been great to see Chicago. I was rooting for the Bulls to get them, or even the Knicks. But this thing, this thing with New Orleans, what good? What good does that do anybody? Yeah, it would have been gotta, worse if they would have went to Memphis. Gotta get but. them out of New Orleans. What a terrible place! Yeah, that to. they shouldn't be there in the they're, first. They're not place. even called the Jazz. Call no. They, they should have taken the Jazz back. Yeah, trade. All right. And then more news from the NBA. Tyreek Evans mm. of the Indianapolis Pacers. Oh, did he? I, I have no idea who this guy is. I don't oh, watch he, NBA. Did he shoot somebody? Uh, oh. Well, he's been kicked out of basketball. Oh, okay. That's not uh, good. Because he failed. A, he, he violated the NBA drug policy. Mm. Okay. And you may ask yourself, is this, uh, geez, how many times is he suspended? Well, this is his first time he's tested positive. And according, and they did not say what drug he was tested positive for. But according to the uh, CBA, the Collective Bargaining Agreement, mm-hmm. if a player tests positive for a drug abuse of abuse during random testing or reasonable cause testing, he will be dismissed and disqualified from the NBA. The mm-hmm. league's list of drugs of abuse is as follows: Uh oh, amphetamine and oh, its yeah. analogs, yeah. Uh, benzodiazepine. That's not, whatever that does. Say I, no. I, that's benzo, right? I think that's right. like oh a, benzo. That's like okay. a herbiciate. Herbiciate, isn't? It? Yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm not very well versed in the herbiciate world. Can you just ask your, uh, ask the people you volunteer with uh, about this? They scene. know. I. I don't think they can afford benzo. Well, they, they don't they, know they, by the official name. You know, they go by they. A lot of them are riding the dragon or. Uh, <laughs> All right, some more it's cocaine. Got cocaine, you, you a little bit of cocaine, a bl- little bit of booger sugar. That's not. And you're that's kicked not out. Popular, yeah. In the that's NBA, but it's out of your system so quick, though. So I don't think it's uh, right. Is that big of a problem? But uh, GHB, I have no. Uh, is that growth hormone? Oh, right. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, ketamine. Ketamine. Yes, that's something as well. LSD, opiates. Mm. I mean, he did what? All maybe, that? maybe he had back pain, right? He Can't... was busy. And PCP. Wow. PCP. Now that's. Sketchy. Isn't that what well, you do when you're in the desert? <laughs> I don't know. It makes you crazy, I guess. We should so. ask Oliver Stone. Yeah. Um, well, Gene, uh, again, we don't know what uh, he took, but he took one of those drugs or a combination. 
And Gene, uh, that was a wild night. <laughs> that would have been fun. I would have, I wish I would have been there. <laughs> yeah. Have you two ever, years? Uh, He's out two years. I know. I, I, my, I missed all my, uh, LSD. I've never done any, I never even spoke pot. I've never done anything like that. And, and those days are gone now. So I guess well, I'll thank never, God you're not playing for the NBA. I'll never drop pass it. Drop pass it. I don't even know if they say that. I don't even know if you can do that. Oh, that's anymore. correct. Yeah. Um, all right. So, oh, Javi did not. No, that was, was that last Eric? night. Uh, he got hurt. Oh, he twisted his ankle? Javi no, twisted his he, ankle? No, he actually, Javi Baez for the Cubs. Let's go Cubbies. Yeah, no, he hurt his heel. He's, he's, it's not too bad. He's going to be right. back. Well, we're going to be talking about the Cubs anyways. They they oh, played okay. again last night on ESPN, yes. right? Yeah, and they got, I, I think I'm, they got two more games coming what up. What are the ratings like? I mean, uh, do people just love watching the Cubs? I guess some? so. So Javi hurt his ankle. Is he playing today against no, the, he's not. the Phillies? Uh, oh, luckily we have a guy named Addison Russell. <laughs> yeah, who's he, been welcomed back into the fold. He knows how to hit. Let's just say that. Yeah, he hit his All first right. home run last week. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, and then uh, well, I'll tell you what, Gene. Yes. Controversy uh, oh, follows I, the Chicago I, Cubs. I watch this. Hey, Joe Madden is trying to. He's because Carl Edwards. All right. Well, let's set this up. Okay, you set it up. Cubs manager Joe Madden had argued that, uh, well, there's a little bit of a, well, okay, so it's an eighth or ninth inning. I it's believe. a ninth it's, inning. It's a ninth inning. Yeah, uh, the, and the Cubs uh, are losing five and What team is this two. again? The, Against Washington. Washington. The closer yep. Yep. Um, has this kind of tick, this move, where he kind yeah. of puts his foot down. Yeah. Uh, while he, he puts it down Kenley and then Jansen brings it back up. does it for the Dodgers. A lot of, uh, probably a bunch of other pitchers do it, too. Kershaw kind of does it. And uh, Joe Madden was uh, none too pleased. That's that he was being allowed to do this. That's baseball mess with a Cub player, Carl Edwards Jr. And he asked yourself, hey, old man, like, what's up? What, what's yeah, going on? Right, right. And uh, they made Carl Edwards, like, remove it? Yes. Something like that? Yeah. Stop it? He he added it in spring training. Then the first He added it? Yeah. He didn't have it before, but he's been so. <laughs> Gee, yeah, I've heard of people uh, picking up a splitter. <laughs> uh, not not a toe tap. so chaotic. And then he added it. And then, so they didn't say anything in spring training. Then, as soon as the regular season started, he he did it, and they said you can't do that. Then it messed with his mind, and he ended up in the minor leagues. And now he's trying to fight his way back. He's back with the Cubs, but yeah. So, so Madden's saying he's he's so Madden's trying to ruin this guy's career now, yes, right? Yes. Take, now, okay, right. now, Gene, you obviously watched the Cubs. Was right. it was it pretty bland? Blame- no, this guy always does it. It's no big deal. What? No, I'm talking about Carl Edwards, though. That's what I'm talking oh, about. Yeah, he 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 added this thing where he would start, <laughs> and then he would stomp on the ground, and then uh, he would he would. It, I don't know. It was yeah, very it does, odd. doesn't sound doesn't sound so <laughs> good. It wasn't. It was not. It it was. I don't even know why he was doing it. It seemed very odd. <laughs> well, yeah, there. I think we know why because it was fucking up the uh, batter's rhythm. That's why he was doing. Yeah. It. All of a sudden, his well, ERA shot way down. He, okay, he, all right. He's had some mental issues. I shouldn't call him. Okay, so so Madden argued that Washington reliever uh, Sean Doolittle. Yeah. Uh, used an illegal 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 delivery in the ninth right. inning of the game and said that he was playing under protest. That was I. I knew when he was doing. I go, Joe, bless you for standing up for Carl Edwards. But th- you're out of your element on this one. By the way, do you think the umpires had any idea what he was talking? You, you, you no. they told they, Carl you couldn't do it. Like, I know. Okay, I who's know. Carl? Yeah, right, Joe, right, who's right. Carl, buddy? And then, and then uh, they had to go to the headphones to check the rule book, and they said, no, he's fine. And then Joe withdrew his protest. Did they? Did they do a replay? Did, did no, the New York both do a replay? Is this uh, a bulk? Is that was the question? Yeah. No, he's saying it's a legal motion, which uh, I don't know. Well, Although Jim, Carl Edwards, when the night before, he balked with a guy on third. trying. He's all mentally, he's <laughs> fragile. I He's having issues. Because the night before, he balked with the guy on third because he can't figure it out. He's just struggling. <laughs> You know, not everybody. Maybe you should pick up some cinema. lessons from Doolittle. I don't know. I, That's how yeah. you do it. Oh, Doolittle's good, too. He's actually really good. Yeah. All right. The Cubs then had 24 hours to submit an official grievance to the league, but they decided not to. No. Um, well, Gene, I got a couple jokes loaded up. All right. What do you got for Doolittle? Well, first oh, for of all, Madden. For Madden. First of all, uh, don't tell me Madden is a teetotaler. <laughs> Why? Why not? 
Oh, I see. A, a, a teetotaler. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I I kind of got. What is that phrase? Uh, yeah, a, a, a teetotaler. A to- what does that mean? Like tea? Yeah. Oh, it's lightweight. total tea, right? No, I think yeah. it's someone who only drinks tea instead of oh, alcohol. Oh, Oh, that's probably it. That's probably where it came from. Yeah. Yeah, teetotaler. Yep. It probably that's probably that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Okay, um, I got you. All right, Gene. Uh, here's another one. Uh. Joe Madden seems really uh, concerned about these uh, tap it, t- taps, these foot taps. Yeah, right, right. These foot taps. Yeah, what about the foot taps? I mean, does, does he think he's managing the Rockettes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Who, who, who does he think he's managing, the Rockettes? <laughs> there you go, that's better. There you it's, go. It's, you yeah, got twisted along. I, think, like I think you had it the second. I thought right. you had it the first time, too. No, the second, it well, seemed very hey. silly because Doolittle's always done that, and he's not the only one, and it didn't seem illegal at all. He just, he, he I don't know. He's trying well, to. Gene, again, yeah. they had 24 hours to submit an official grievance to league, but they did not to. No. Well, well they Gene, had nothing to grieve. Gene, what, what's the matter? Is Madden all tapped out? <laughs> All right, that's all I got. That's all well, I got. that's hey, I got to give you credit. <laughs> Did you so you didn't actually see what he was talking about? Uh, I I saw I just saw him explode. Oh, I, I mean, I saw the do little thing, but I mean, again, it, it's kind of weird. But only when you look at it, and I don't think the batters are actually looking at that. I think they're yeah, only looking that, at the ball I mean, coming out of their it, hands, right? Yeah, right. I right. would like to see uh, what Carl Edwards was doing. His though. was play, but he's he's he added uh, some weird delivery to try to. Yeah. yeah he's, uh, All right. And then, uh, Gene, uh, other uh, Major League Baseball news. Uh, oh. Fritz Fielder, uh, former Milwaukee Brewer, uh, former Detroit Tiger, um, as the Cubs score. No, they run. don't. Was it? They got forced out at home. Oh, We're watching okay. the Cubs. You All shouldn't right, be watching the Cubs because it uh, makes me mad. <laughs> oh, I thought Cubs. they uh, got a good. Okay. That was Addison Russell coming up with the bases. So Addison Russell's back with the Cubs. He comes up with the bases loaded, and then he. He, uh, he hits it out. 40 feet. All right. Yeah. And, uh, well, so anyways, Prince Fielder is uh, an official spokesman for Kingsfield the Charcoal. Oh, okay. Uh, which is uh, a miss because he uh, was a lifelong, a veg- well, not maybe a lifelong, but he was a vegetarian. Oh. Hmm. What do you make on I the guess, grill? guess uh, mm-hmm. vegetarian no more. Well, if you see the picture, he's got a rack of lamb. Oh. Right there. That one, that, you can't get away with that, right? Being a vegetarian. Well, Gene, I I don't think vegetarians actually enjoy their lives, Gene, because uh, mm. I know I know a couple of vegetarians that have like gone back to meat, right? And they're like, ah, uh, yeah, it's not worth it. I don't see myself. I don't wear fur, and I love animals, but for the most part, well, that's. And, a, uh, but listen, I, I'm all down for that. I think I'm not. Kind of, I don't ever see myself not or being a vegetarian. Those days of if I was going to do that, I never thought about it anyway. But no. Growing up, we had a meatpacking plant in my hometown. That was, that the beef canned ham. That's where you, that's where it's at. Well, Gene, uh, unless you know, uh, in, unless you're like an Eskimo, yes, in uh, the winter or the Arctic Circle, there's no. Re- I don't think you should probably be wearing uh, fur. I mean, yeah, the, well, the no, animals killed I, just to. I know. The, well, they had a fur protest in New York last week, and some rapper, I don't know his name, but he showed up wearing fur, protesting the protesters. He's yeah. like, uh, this coat costs more than all of your uh, paychecks I know. this year. All oh, right. Wow. Okay. And, uh, Gene, we're going to end it with some NFL news. Some uh, kind of scary. Oh, that guy. We, NFL news. That w- mm. Hey, Gene? that would be great. Uh, by the way, Chris Long, retired. You'd be a good pickup for the Packers. <laughs> Talk about he doesn't want yeah, to we retire. Don't, we don't take quitters, right? They go. We we oh, send them off to the he's Jets. Not a mm. now he's he's still under contract, right? So he, no. Uh, oh yeah. No, they he... no. I think he they didn't offer him. I'm a, I don't know. Oh really? Okay, I should right, say. I, yeah, okay. well, all right, leave Schefter. that to Mike Flory. Right, Adam no, Schefter. I read Mike Florio. I don't read Schefter. I like Adam Schefter, but I read Florio. Schefter is good for the late breaking news, but sometimes right. he's uh, he's kind of an NFL ass kicker, a little bit too much. Wow. He's willing to hold their water. Yeah. Mike Florio actually uh, has some uh, some pushback uh, on the NFL league. All right, but Gene, yeah, we're gonna start with uh, well, we're gonna start and end with the uh, Indianapolis Colts uh, scary news mm. out of Indianapolis. Uh, witnesses told investigators from the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department that about seventy shots yeah were fired into that the home like of Parks Frazier 
and Indianapolis Colts assistant coach. Wow. He was not home at the time. He was working or something like that. So, uh, I mean, that's good. Uh, but, Gene, I I didn't know Marvin Harrison was back in Indianapolis. <laughs> what What is he doing? Is he trying out for the team? That's a, that's a good, timely reference. Well, it's not really timely since he retired 10 years ago or whatever. I, but it's a good reference, at least for me. But you know, I was just thinking about Marvin Harrison. Do you think there's ever been a person that's more – like on and off the field, more polarizing. You, you said a it, person. right? Right. Like he was, everyone, he was so quiet and he professional, uh, and he was such a good player. Yet he, beloved, beloved. I'm mean, probably one of the top five wide receivers. Probably he was pretty of all fantastic. And then in Philly, <laughs> on the, he's, on his he's off like days, he's like a two bit gangster. Yeah, like he beats people yeah. up for rent money, and he like he shoots people on the streets. Yeah, and you got away with it. He's a, he running some sort of. He, and this guy has a hundred million dollars in the yeah, bank, and yeah. he's like he's he's beating up people for over six hundred dollars mm-hmm. for God's sake. So that's not uh, good. Have you ever been in a gun battle? Have you ever <laughs> been close? Well, I've been I've been around guns because I used to. My dad he was a hunter, and then I would go. And then I I wouldn't uh, ever shoot. Well, I did a couple times. But have you ever been in a gun battle or be, fired a gun? Well, yeah, on my PlayStation Four. Mm, that's well, pretty violent. A lot of guys. Uh, Gene, I've seen some shit. Yeah, I'll tell you. back in your day. Um, yeah, well, well, Xbox Three Sixty. Yeah, but uh, oh, P- PS Four, yeah. whole new ball game. My 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 video day games. Oh, I'll tell you where I'm going to see violence, gun violence, John Wick Three. Which I'm hopefully Did you see it tomorrow. Oh, you haven't seen oh, it? Oh, I'm sorry. Did that maybe one of the greatest trilogies. It's got to be up there with Star Wars. <laughs> Godfather, if they didn't have the third one, would have been a great trilogy. Yeah. Or Oh, Gene, they're going to make another Godfather. You know that for I sure. I don't know. They really it's going to be Sofia Coppola is going to direct yeah. it, too. When, when, as soon as Francis... Oh, yeah. Here's the problem. <laughs> they're going to wait for Francis to die. Yeah. So they don't have to pay him, and they don't have to deal with this shit. And then wow. Sofia Coppola is going to direct yeah. it. Mark my Gene will be on like year ten. Okay, but that will be another oh, prediction that will come true. And another really exciting thing: the Hollywood Bowl started again Friday, and that's right in my neighborhood. So a lot, a lot of people oh, gather around. Cool. They did that. How how much would you pay? So they show the Little Mermaid on screen, and then they have actors. Cheech Marin plays one of the characters on stage singing along. Would that be something you'd well, pay Cheech, a lot of Cheech money Merritt. for? Him? Does he have a good voice? I mean, I, guess, I, I don't remember I think any he singing. Must have been in Little Mermaid. I don't. Maybe. I don't remember any. Well, I, was he the one that did Basketball Jones on uh, Cheech and Chung? Yeah, I don't know which one. Do you, do you know any of the Cheech and Chung skits? Yes, Gene? they were, they were huge. Well, I don't basketball know. Jones got your basketball, but he did like more like a oh, falsetto, okay. right? I'm talking about. All right. Yeah, <laughs> they were big. Remember, they were huge. And it was such a big deal because Cheech and Chong smoked pot, and and it was so taboo. They're like, "Oh, those guys, they're crazy." Yeah, they we need someone is a. Maybe Tommy Chong went to prison for a while, a couple years for having a bong. Yeah, just crazy. Yep. Our world is. Mm, thank goodness we have uh, certain someone in there straightening everything out for us. <laughs> right. <laughs> thank God we got a president that uh, cares yeah. about us. All right. Well, Gene, we're gonna end it right there. Awesome. It's, Happy Memorial Day. Yeah, that's uh yeah, that's this Monday. We're gonna be doing yeah, we'll probably be doing the show yeah. a little bit early. On yeah, the day, sure. So. That sounds good. All right, so uh we'll be doing that. Be looking forward to that. Uh enjoy your week. Have a and, fantastic uh, week. Go Bucks. Oh, let's get the Bucks in the finals and then beat Golden State. Oh, you know what would be great? If Kevin Durant comes back and then the Bucks beat him. And then people because <laughs> then they'll be sticking it to Kevin Durant. And then the Bucks will win a title again. First one in 40-some years. Yeah. He may have tore his ACL, though. So yeah. That's, that's what mm-hmm. I'm thinking. All right. Well, uh, for Gene – all right, let me get the music here. For Gene Steichen, my name is uh, – all right, let me get the music going. All right. What a show, Gene. Do you, so, have, do you have any more Joe Man jokes? <laughs> no. No, that's it. All right. Yeah. So for Gene Steichen, my name is Chris Stotts. It's been the Midwest Sports Show. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.